morning. I'm taking my medicines and supplements right now and going to have my lemon water. I don't know if that's how most people would take it, but that's how I take it. It works for me. It doesn't cause me any problems. Every day for about the past week or a little more, I've been writing down stuff that I want to accomplish the next day and then going over it in the morning and then that night writing down um, a little journal entry about what I did accomplish that day. I realized that just putting the smallest amount of every thing that I want to accomplish is really helpful because I don't feel like I need to do more than that and if I do then I'm extra proud of myself that I did. Uh, so for today I want to um, one tutorial on Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign exercise. I don't have a time on it. It's just whatever I end up doing if I go on a hike, if I do a little video from YouTube, whatever it is that I do. I've been dancing for 10 minutes every day which I've started doing as a challenge that somebody had started on Instagram and I've really fallen in love with just getting up and shaking it for a few minutes every day. I don't know, it puts me in a good mood. Reading an energy book. Uh, this is the book that I have been reading. I don't have an amount that I want to get read or anything. It's just whatever meditation which is the kundalini breathwork exercises i was doing for today and then i also meditate before i get up and do some gratitude i'm just mindful as to what i want to set for my intention for the day and then i also do that at night too and see what projects my sister has for me to do for work take a hot bath and a dip in the pool at least for this week, again, setting myself realistic goals, and then if I go further, I'm very excited. And then I'm going to start incorporating the breath work into that for um, the stuff that Wim Hof has been doing. If you're familiar with him, he's trained his body to be able to do things that the average person can't do. There are two yoga classes that I'd like to do one of, um, and then I just downloaded the book The Secret on Audible. And so... I'm going to be listening to that before I go to bed until I finish that book and probably listen to it a second time. Every night I listen to either a guided meditation or um, an audiobook. And lastly, now that I decided to vlog today, I am going to be editing as the day goes on as I film different parts of my day and just put them into my editing app right away. And now it's out into the rain to go get some food. It's like 10.30. It actually hasn't been raining too much this winter. <laughs> Haven't had to do that in about a month. Got my leftover soup. Had some mix of soup that my mom made and a Thai place that I got it from. Gonna mix it with some noodles. My acupuncturist gave me some herbs to help with this cough that I have. So, I've been trying to take these three times a day. You're supposed to take it on an empty stomach, which is hard to do, especially considering that I've been like super hungry the last few days after not being hungry for like a week while well, I was really sick and so I did just like some impromptu fasting and now my body is like food, food, food. I mix together very non-traditional things, just whatever sounds good to me. I don't eat typical American meals, cereal for breakfast or pancakes or waffles or whatever. Um, sometimes I have oatmeal and that I will eat at any time of the day, <clears throat> but I often will have something like this. <laughs>
am tired. But I also feel really good for accomplishing so much today. I just worked for about four and a half hours, an hour and a half of which was like full on focus with somebody that was teaching me how to use InDesign in Photoshop, which thank you for teaching me that. But I am done for the moment. Oh my goodness. It's interesting because I actually felt like dancing after instead of sitting down and like resting right away. It was like, a, even though I was physically, you know, my brain actually hurt from processing so much, I still wanted to dance. And then I was like, you know what? It's gonna be getting dark soon and I haven't done my dip in the pool yet. So I did that and I did it without getting in the bath first and it was actually okay. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna eat some food that I made, another <laughs> very <laughs> traditional American meal of asparagus. Asian noodles and um, meatloaf mixed together with avocado and some coconut aminos, but those are the types of meals I have. <laughs> so, chowing down on this now. 6 p.m. I'm gonna eat some oranges. I wanted something else after dinner and I've been eating, I was eating tons and tons of oranges as I was getting better. Some days that's all I was eating after I like, had this cold because I just wasn't hungry for anything. Now, I think I said earlier in the video that I, I've been eating so much food. So definitely making up for that. I'm going to do my journaling for the, for tomorrow, um, for the things I want to accomplish and go over the things that. I did accomplish for today, which I think I did most of everything on here. Um, I definitely am proud of what I did accomplish today. I did things that I don't usually do, so it's definitely harder on the brain getting everything in there. I'm going to eat my oranges and do a little exercise before bed. and then do my meditation and listen to the secret i'll probably go to bed pretty early tonight my sleep schedules have been super off because i was in tahoe for a week um and it was christmas before that and then i was sick and so it's just been kind of all over the place i was waking up at like 5 30 to 7 30 every morning and then now it's been more like 7.30 to 9.30, but I'm just kind of letting my body do what it needs to do on um, the days that I don't have to get up and be anywhere specific. Like, why not, I guess? I'm gonna probably sit back and edit this video. Hope you guys had a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!